language. Robert Moffat interpreted it, translated it into uh, the language of Batlaping uh, among the Batswana people. Mm. And so they went on. The G German, where the Germans have colonized Africa, and they're speaking German, German language, they had to do the same thing. But there is no direct translation from African languages to European languages. It's seen to acidolog. Mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. um, but it's to it's to to it's to um, now you go further into Ethiopia again. The Ethiopians, they interpreted as they were dictated by these people, the nine saints from Syria. Uh, they've been under the tutelage of the Coptic Church for 1,600 years. Their ultimate bishops were appointed by the Coptic right. Church, which is like right. the Arabs of Egypt, mm -hmm. who, who they are called the Copts. So which, whichever part of Africa you look at it, it is not African, and it was introduced into Africa. Now, I hear the best brains of our race. Mm. They're talking about rewriting the Bible. <laughs> the great Bishop Joshua Maponga, <laughs> uh, among others. <laughs> to, mm. Before we rewrite the Bible, mm. did we understand it? Exactly. I'm still coming at, uh, to that. That uh, How do you <laughs> rewrite Something that is not fundamentally written for you without okay. affecting the structure of it. Okay. You understand? It is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But uh, uh, the great Bishop Maponga, within our Rastafari <clears throat> level of consciousness, is still rising. Why rise? I like a rise? So, so some of these things are. Yeah, so Sakula guy. Uh, he's knowledgeable, he's articulate, he's a big man, he's vocal, but what rise up? One of the biggest <laughs> old men, Ram rise up, uh, 55 years. I'm um, rise up, rise up, I'll rise, I understand. So I'm not saying his rising will rise to the level of Rastafara. I'm saying that he's, he's rising within knowledge. the African spirituality, yeah, man. which is what is going on now with, with um, all of us. Okay. So is now, it safe to say is it safe to say a lot of these big social media public giants that speak about spirituality are still in their rising stages? Yeah, most of them, they're still in their rising stages because they are despondent with Christianity. They, it is like this concept of African theology. That was created by uh, Reverend uh, Gabriel Mulihestilwan, mm -hmm. Bo John Mbiti, who wrote African mm -hmm. Religion. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, all of that. They even make it very clear that African theology is nothing but a black Christian interpretation of Christianity or black Christian interpretation of the Bible. So they still caught up in the... Christian space Dicot. and the Bible space. Mm. But now they want to blackanize it. They want to mm. Africanize it. Now they're trying to Africanize something that is not originally African. So that is why you are hearing about rewriting the Bible or African interpretation of the Bible. There is no African interpretation of something that is not African. But there, there, is, there, is, there is a book, mm. Frank Times. Yes. I'm sure you've come across it. Yeah, Frank Times. Yeah. The Black God, the mm. Black Jesus. The Black Jesus, yeah. yes. And... And you have different versions of the Black Jesus. Like if you go there uh, at Yuval, at Silo Fujama, you get this book um, with the, all characters in the Bible are black. It's a King James version of the Bible as you know it, mm. with some footnotes, with some extra stories, right? Now, these people are telling us that uh, the Near East, the Middle East, was once Northeast Africa, Africa before the breaking of the Suez Canal thing. So therefore, they are trying to take something from some small geographical location and to define the entire continent. Now, when we talk of Africa from where our school of thought, you talk about Cape to Cairo, not, not including mm. this. Mm. Now, the Bible now, fundamentally, these are stories of the mythologies and legends and fairy tales of the Sumerians, uh, the Assyrians and the Babylonians. Um, the Epic of Gilgamesh. It's a Near East. Is a Near East composition, composition. of just the old stories that were found. Yeah, and mostly the people of the Near East were dark skin. Mm. Mostly the people of the Near East, some of them were. I gave example that the, the same definition of Gaddafi is the same definition of the black what god the, in, the in the Bible. Woolly hair, woolly hair, bronze skin, bronze skin, exactly. 
brown eyes. What 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 says it's black? <laughs> so I'm saying we can't take an exception and make uh-huh, it a norm. A norm. I understand. True. You can't take an African oddity and try to make it a normality. Mm. Um, look, of all the 3,000 so-called tribe or ethnic groups, all of them, they have a name for God. And all of them, they have a God concept. And all of them have God consciousness. All of them have their stories of creation. You ask the Zulus where they come from, Babu Zulu. You ask Batswana, Batswakai, Batswakamudimu, Wakalu. Now, in all these 3,000 stories of creation, there is no single story of a God who created the earth in six days and rest on the seventh day. The very idea of a tired God who have time to be tired and rest is non-African, understand me? It is not how the African look at God. So now we have the tired God who rests on a Sabbath, and then you want to tell me that this particular unique story, that is unique it's a universal to, truth. Man. It is a universal truth. And this is a problem of when you use the Bible as a final judge of all African consciousness, mm. all African culture, all African thought system, and say, yeah, but the, it is not in the Bible, or but the Bible says. But the Bible says. Look, we don't need to rewrite the Bible. We need to take the whole book and throw it out. Understand me? We have our stories. The Bible is a violent book. The Bible God is a violent God. And the Bible prophets are violent prophets. It is there. Genesis. Uh, the first murder come from the first monogamous family. You understand me? <laughs> Which is Adam and Eve. They were just two. Mm. And then they have two cheese boys. Mm. Cain and Abel. Mm. And then another one kill another one. Mm. Now that is supposed to be a model of a, a, family. a family. That's how that's a family was modeled for a nucleus family. But that's why... But, yeah, I understand. Now, from there, you get all this type of murder. Moses committed a lot of murder. In the, Abraham. On, in the Abraham. And mostly, they, they convert after they, they committed a they murder. committed a murder. <laughs> uh, and, and this God is okay with that. <laughs> and then, from there, you get the whole journey to the promised land. It's murder. Mm. It's annihilation of people. Colonization. Cultural extinction. Colonization, mm. land occupation. Mm. Now you say this is the best book ever written that we can only rewrite it to suit ourselves when we have a profound spiritual expression. Now you need to understand that we are responding to colonialism and slavery. And one of the things that colonialism and slavery invested in was to make sure that they wrap out our knowledge. So our knowledge is not completely lost, it is suppressed. Mm. That is why now we're saying. Others are rising, others have risen, others are in the path. You understand? It is, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an expected condition. We're going to have a lot of people battle Twasa, and not everybody Twasang or Twasela it Onyang. Abanye but Twasela knowledge. They are getting back into their natural self, their African self. Now, in this process, that which is being locked into our memory genes will be unlocked. It is a time for it. It is a time for Africa. It's a time for us to remember. It's time for us to remember. Even His Majesty Haile Selassie in 1963, when he was opening the OAU, the Organization of African Unity Summit, he said, we Ethiopians belongs to one group of people, the African people. Now, everything that is in Africa will have to be interpreted through Africa. Mm-hmm. We're not going to take the whole continent and use Ethiopia to try to interpret the Africa. Whole yeah. No. Now, we have to understand our spiritual journey where it began. It began from the Navel of mm-hmm. Africa, the Great Lakes region from Batwa. Now, the, the way they gave us the signs and symbols of the primordial man. 